Ellipsis. Shishune leans forward to Lee and looks a lot as playfully, playful, and more of like a serious person than I expected her to be from the start. Chichan, would you like to join us through the council? What the? Uh, it's so serious. <laughs> she really doesn't waste any time, does she? But it's only my second day of school, so I'm hesitant about committing to anything so early. I haven't even taken a look at the other clubs yet. But spending time with Chizune and Misha doesn't seem like a, something I would hate. No, oh, true. That's any more. Oh, fuck. I just fucked that up. Okay. I still need more time to think about it before I decide for sure. Maybe I'll get back to you on it. Huh. Huh. Okay, Chan, but I hope you're not just saying that so we don't feel bad. No, really. Really? Hey, Chan, if you're going to say that, you're saying that, it's, that that is definitely the truth. And there can't be any uh, mistaking it. I know, I know. I guess I should have I should have my revenge for my loss. <laughs> for losing, any, at, at the very least. <laughs> she didn't smile in the mischievous way that feels like twisting the knife of, of the wound of my loss. I glanced at the look of the oh wait I glanced at the clock at the wall and realized I spent a far longer time playing Risk than I expected. So I had to go. I want to go to the library. It's not closed yet, is it? She's only scratches her head and gestures a mission. So they both don't know. Great. How hard can it be to determine where the, the library is open? There is a clock right there in the fucking wall. It should be, unless the librarian's absent. I think you're right, Chan. What the fuck? Well, what? Oh, I'm sorry. We think the library is open. It's on the second floor. Can't miss it. Do you want us to show us where it is? Nah, no thanks. That's good. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Woo! Ladies, go ahead and talk to me while I leave. Here. Yeah. One flight up of stairs up. What the fuck kind of painting is that? I run, I run into a problem. The second floor ha hallway is a carbon copy of the third one. <laughs> third floor one. Wide, of course, and plain. Like only hallways can be. The problem is that the library's whereabouts are not as easily determined as one would think. The classrooms are marked with signs stating which class they belong to. But then, there is a uh, plethora of other unmarked rooms. Is the library one of them, or is it just somewhere down the hallway? I run the ladder and choose my direction at random. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, that's a ghost bathroom, let's go there. Uh, after I turn around the corner, uh, an unmarked door draws my attention because it's not closed. It's not open either, though. Just barely a jar so that I can see uh, it's open and nothing else. It would make sense for the library library door to be uh, invitingly invitingly open. And while this one is not that quite, it's not quite that. It's good enough. <laughs> At the very least, it means that someone's inside and I can ask for directions, no matter how embarrassing it is. Why is it embarrassing? Put your man pride away, son. I gingerly wow, gingerly really. Not playing. <laughs> Push this net on the center of the door with my fingertips. Every muscle on my arm ready to pull back at the moment's sight. Notice. The feeling of being an outsider to the school can't be shaken from my mind. So so much that it, I instinctively fear doing something wrong by entering. <sighs> the door slowly creaks as if groaning from a deep sleep. Though it is much though it is much easier to open than I anticipated. Leaning over the book in my head even further inside is to gain sight of the room as fast as possible to make hello? On my lips as qu is quickly snatched away. <gasps> Good God, who is this chick? This chick looks pretty, uh... Hold on, I gotta put the music up. God damn, that's like an angel. I'm j Just look at her, God damn! Can she be my wife? Like, seriously? <laughs> This is not, this is not what I was expecting, Ser look at her, she's fucking beautiful! God damn, that block, I don't know, dude, just, wow, holy crap. I managed to let the door open to its full extent, taking the sight of the solitary figure, uh, taking such a strange in an otherwise abandoned room. The situation shows my voice, leaving me standing in the doorway, staring at the beautiful girl. Seriously, see? God damn. In, if I did, Inventedly, take, uh, having taken her time to assess the situation, the girl gently puts down her teacup and opens her eyes, but doesn't look at me. Hello there, may I help you? Staring directly in front of herself, the movements of her lips seem to break the science rather than the words. However, it's the soft, measured voice that reminds me she's a being separate from the room itself. Not only is she likely the tallest girl I've ever laid eyes on, <laughs> but even among the foreigners I've met, she's strikingly distant 
Uh, hi. Sorry for intruding, I was just, uh, kind of lost. She takes a moment to formulate a response before speaking. Every action she takes feels as if it's carefully uh, choreographed beforehand. Care to take a seat? Unexpected, considering- Oh, go for yourself! <laughs> considering that I'm itch intruding upon her. Um, thanks. Hey, come on, have some confidence, goddammit. I slowly step toward uh, another seat of opposite her. The girl resting the teacup and the saucer of the wooden table in between. The way she doesn't check my moment movements with her head is telling that... And the slight cloudiness to her eyes means that she's at least partially blind, like Kenji. <laughs> no, she can't see us. <laughs> Come to think of it, her voice doesn't have any detectable accent either. I guess she must be half Japanese. As I take my... Yeah, as I take my seat, her composure takes me slightly off guard. Ah, fuck, got up. Ah, goddammit. No? Ah, fuck, that hurts. 